Oh, it's me and Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> go away. What are you doing? You, you, we only did that for, there we go. Let's start over here, everyone. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Conversations with Curtis. It's me, Paul, by myself here. Um, and I think I just saw that Schweck started us off with a uh, with a donation. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate that. Um Happy Monday and a good day today. We get Tori to join us again. It's been a long time. We haven't had Tori here for forever. And we're going to play a game I've heard a lot about. So I'm super excited about, about that. Uh, Puzzle Agent, I believe, is the name of the game. And uh, um, lots going on this week. We have today's stream with Tori. And then on Wednesday, Ross, I believe, will be coming back and we'll finish up uh, King's Quest. That was a lot of fun uh, last week. And then on Friday, we are going to premiere our interview with Ron Gilbert. So big week here at Conversations with Curtis. Um, don't know if I have anything else before, uh, before I bring the folks out. So why don't I just go ahead and thank our Patreon members and our coffee members for keeping Conversations with Curtis rolling. Sure appreciate you guys. As always, big thanks to Malika Chandler, Francois Demagella, Robbie Moffat Reborn, and Tyler. You guys are awesome, as is all of our wonderful donors and uh, and uh, sponsors. Um, speaking of sponsors, if you would like to help sponsor today's game uh, or today's stream, or I guess this week's stream, so that you have a chance to be a, a co-host on one of our future streams, then please consider a donation today. Uh, our top seven donors over the last 30 days are Zwex, CJ Moffat Reborn, YT Wanderer, Sweet Kashmar, Sweet Kashmar, uh, David and Victor Chang. Thanks you all. Thanks to you all for, for your donations and uh, your support. It sure means a lot. Uh, we did reach our goal last week. Um, Thanks to some wonderful donors uh, while we were playing. Uh, I think I played, I don't remember what happened, but we ended up doing, we got our goal, which means today we will do a Wheel of Curtis to see who will be our next uh, co-host. Then you get to choose a game to play. So, so that'll be awesome. All right. Why don't we bring out, I'm not sure if Daniel's here or anything, but if he is, let's see if we can bring him out. And, and uh, hey, let's bring Daniel and Tori out. There she is. Hi, Tori. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Hi guys. How are you? So good to see you. <clears throat> good, good. How are you guys? Good. We 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 had this conversation th about three minutes ago, but mm -hmm. I mean, we're pretending like, like we didn't have it. We, we practiced like we it. it. Hi, Hi, Tori. <laughs> how are how are Hi. you today? Yeah. Today. It's been such a long time since yeah. we saw yeah. each other. Do what you tipped ten dollars. Compliment Tori tax. Compliment Tori tax. Well done, Compliment Tori. Tax. Yeah, that's great. Thank that's you, do what do. It's good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so yeah, what's uh what's been what's been shaken? How's how's your life? In fact, you have some things that you were gonna share with us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I was cleaning up my garage, which is which is a horrible job. Um, and then I kept getting distracted by finding things. And I found... Wait, did you do a horrible job of cleaning our garage or was it just a horrible it's, job in general? I did a great job cleaning the garage. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's going to stay that way because certain people mess it up all the time. But <laughs> I, it's it's a horrible job trying to clean the garage because I don't know I, if you have this problem, but you open boxes and... I just sometimes don't like going into the past, but um, I found this whole box with a bunch of Phantasmagoria stuff in it. What? And so I brought two items to share with you, children. An orange sweater <laughs> and black pants. <laughs> I wish I had that sweater. I don't. But um, I have th this photo. <laughs> <laughs> that's so disturbing i can't Isn't even that disturbing it. yeah really you look so happy you're the one on the left 
Let's Our see left. if you can tell which one is the real me. <laughs> and then um, and then I found this Entertainment Weekly from 1995, ancient mm -hmm. relic. <laughs> and there's a, um, nice. a review and it gets a it gets a B plus. Hey. <laughs> So, All right, got a read, B plus uh, for, effort. <laughs> for yeah. effort. Find a, a uh, random, just read the first three sentences of the second paragraph. Unlike such CD-ROM movie games as Demolition Man and Corpse Killer, which use live action footage to bridge fairly typical point and shoot game sequences, Phantasmagoria unfolds like mist and gadget as you wander through sharply detailed 3D rendered and environments clicking on doors and collecting objects wow and then, All right, then. that's then very specific yeah uh, but then let me just read the first sentence of this one the next paragraph because it's funny it's clear that creator roberta williams is playing to a crowd weaned on splatter and cheese and their participation of director peter maris um, and actress stella stevens helps establish phantasmagoria's b-movie pedigree but i like the cheese. cheese. It, it worsens yeah. as you continue reading. What's that? It worsens as you continue reading. <laughs> but it's actually it's um it's it's good. And then you know, um, it says about Roberta. Toward the end, she manages some suspenseful moments with a few novel twists, such as talking green vomit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love anyway. that scene. Talking green vomit. I love it. Well, that's so great. That's, that's super cool. Yeah, I, I didn't. I the only one I ever had is uh, I have some PC gamer magazine from some, you know, from when when mine came out. But I didn't. That's that's awesome. It's, it's you, in really good shape. You should put it in a. Uh, you should put it in a. a, a you know, a, a seal, or, so that uh, sign it and sell it on eBay. eBay. Sell it on eBay. Yes, yeah, sign it. Sign the review and oh, sell it on eBay. It I could do How that. Much could, yeah, you can get thousands. You can, you September twenty second, nineteen ninety five, and I yeah, I have a bunch of other magazine reviews that I saved. Oh, good. Cool. Well, then maybe uh, we'll just do uh, from now on. We'll just uh, every every stream we'll have you read another snippet from uh, a, a review. That'll be part of our okay until we until we run out. That'll be fun. Is that Daniel, what are we doing today? Well, today we're playing Puzzle Agent. Puzzle Agent is a game from 2010 by Telltale Games and in collaboration with Graham, with Academy Award nominee Graham Annabel, who I interviewed a while ago. And it's a puzzle game. So the only way we'll be able to solve it is by stripping it with story. Yes, it's true. Because, because that's, otherwise that's... we'll be stuck in the game forever. Have you played it before, Daniel? I have. Okay, well... All right, then you, you, yeah, you, you're, you, you, do you remember it all? When's the last time you played it? A year ago, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I've never even, oh, this will be interesting. I know nothing about it. But wait, what was his um, Academy we, Award nomination? I don't know anything about any oh. game story. So that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's well, Graham Annabel uh, was uh, an animator uh, at LucasArts, so he worked on some of the classic adventure games that we play, even the one we played last week. Paul didn't remember what we played last week when we got to our week ago. We played Full Throttle on Monday. And then oh, yeah, yeah, King. that was, that was yeah, good. So uh, Graham Annabel was an animator on Full Throttle, and then mm -hmm. he worked at Telltale Games, where he worked on this game, and then he started working at uh, Laika, which is a movie company. And he was, he directed a movie called Box Trolls. And he yes, was, that was so good. And he was nominated for that movie. He was the director. Well, that's interesting. Yep. Box okay. Trolls? Is that yeah. like yeah. A, a horror flick or something? Or is it, what is it? it no, sounds it's like an, a... it's a stop motion animated movie. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll have to tell yeah. Ian about that because he wants to be an animator. That's interesting. Yep. Okay. So, you should check my interview with Graham Annabelle. 
I will. Yes. And uh, um, Don Radkos, I'm, I'm finally, it's Empty funny, I realized when I was saying hello on the Tory screen, will take I didn't... care of the puzzling, while Paul does all the agenting, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's Paul going to do? I'm going to do the agenting. Agenting. <laughs> agenting. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do the agenting. I like it. Um, okay, no pressure. No pressure. Right. None whatsoever. Uh, I, it's, sleep last I, night. Re I realized that I ha didn't have the chat up when I first started saying hello to everyone. So I was mm -hmm. surprised I had nothing to talk about. But I would usually say hi to the folks in the chat. But I'm seeing a lot of people now. And uh, Don Radko said that uh, he was looking forward to this the entire day. So that's great. And uh, yeah, I know that Ross, this is a huge, uh, one of his favorites. He really liked this game and had the opportunity to play it. But uh, he chose... Uh, King's Quest because he talked a little bit about like not wanting to play darker horror games in the winter or in the summertime. He wanted to no, play since game. The, the game takes place in the winter, then he didn't want to play a winter game in the summer. So that's right. why uh, we didn't play Puzzle Agent because otherwise we would have played it with Ross. But we um, don't mind playing winter games in the summer. Let's do it. Yeah. No, but first, but first I want to do a Wheel of Curtis. Because we um, we got to our weekly goal after Wednesday's live stream, so we're gonna have the uh, Wheel of Curtis right now with all the names of people who donated last week. And just a second. All right. Yeah. So we have uh, getting a backlog of potential co-hosts here. This is uh, we gotta yeah. do some more streaming. So this is choosing the co-host. Yeah. Yeah, the next co-host who gets to choose their their game. Their game of play. choice. Great. And that's it. You can talk amongst yourselves in the meantime. Oh, okay. Oh, well. okay. What else is new? <laughs> what else is new? What else uh, is new? Well, I was telling you guys that uh I am pers I am officially transitioning from my my iMac to the to the PC that we bought so that I could stream games now but now Daniel's streaming the games um but I think I will be streaming more of them because I've I've been doing things like little nightmares but I'm officially making this computer sort of my my own computer that I use throughout the day and the iMac is going to go the family, but uh, for any of you who have switched from one from a Mac to a PC or vice versa, it, it's it's frustrating because uh, while there's much that's similar, there's so many things that aren't, and so the learning process or the relearning process is is uh, exhausting and. Um, yeah, and frankly, I'm not looking forward to. I'm sure that the PC, I will fall in love with it, and it's gonna be the greatest thing ever. And I'll be so happy that I did in mm -hmm. about six months. But the process between now and then is gonna be mm -hmm. years. Painful. Okay, what let's uh, spin the wheel. Are you guys ready? Let's wait, 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 wait. No, let's not. I'm not ready. It doesn't. Um, I want to let's acknowledge the people who. I'm going to do it. So Sweet Cashmere, YT Wander, Moffat Reborn, Jwex, Star Blue 42, M.I. Lurker, Alex D., The Schottenjäger, Samta, Ray Koopa, MDQP, Jeffrey. Great Sasha timing, I mean, MDQP. He just donated while you read his name. MDQP tipped $3. What else was in the Phantasmagoria garage box? Tory? Did opening it unleash an evil spirit? <laughs> yeah, at first I thought this was where the story was going because you said you, that you hated opening up old boxes. Usually people hate opening old boxes because, I don't know, there's lice inside or, or cockroaches. But uh, you gave a, a very emotional response. of. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of spiders scurrying about. and um, But I don't think... An entity has been unleashed, but I might not know. I'll have to watch, keep a close eye on Dave. Yeah. <laughs> keep a close eye for green vomit. Yes. I think the last person that I didn't get was Interlace. So thank you all for your donations over the last 
week. And uh, mm -hmm. now, Daniel, go ahead and spin away. Oh, boy. I have all these, all these screens. I can't tell which one's going. Okay, so there's... And I'm Look, looking at all this. Oh, interlace is looking like it's going to be interlace, which is the last person I mentioned. And there we go. Congratulations. Do we, I don't know if we know this, this person, He's, uh, this person has been a regular. Uh, so if oh. you are here and if you see this interlace, we'll do our best to reach out to Make you. Make yourself known. Make yourself known and let us know if you're interested in being a co-host for the day. If you are not, do we do another one? What are you doing? No. <laughs> All right. Um, and if you are not, you could always give it away to somebody. We could, uh, we can gift it. We can do whatever you want. So, uh, thanks for, for your support. So there we go. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Let's play. Just a second. Let me move OBS over here and the game over here and Chwex tipped 25 pieces of eight. I wanted to make puns with your names. However, I also try to be positive. Unfortunately, the only things I came up with were A. Pauling, Tory Bull, and Danny Grading. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I think. Danny Grading. That's, that's a good one. I like that. That's okay. awesome. Thank you so much, Swex. You've been you're so you're so generous and kind with your uh, with your support and your uh, and your wit. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Puzzle agent. What do we do? Oh, do we do? Uh, do you want me to? Can I? Can I play? Yep. I'm sharing right. now the screen, so you'll be able to play. Let me give you control. <laughs> so. Uh... I'll give you control in a sec, okay? I'll just start the game. I like the I like the interface, so this is pretty cool. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh. That I didn't like okay, let's do that again. Hold on, hold on, okay. J. Edgar Hoover building, Washington DC. What does that mean? I can go now. Okay, I thought there was going to be more of a... No, you're not. That... It's a cutscene. Okay. officially like this game quite a bit okay so um every time we get to a puzzle we get a description of the puzzle and then we need to solve it and once we solve it we send the solution to the fbi and then he tells us <laughs> how much of the taxpayers money we spent solving this puzzle and if we're right then uh we just spent an x amount of money on that puzzle if we need to try again then we'll spend double that so we basi we'll basically see how much it costs uh, to solve these puzzles. Oh. So go oh, right this is this is going to be fun. This is great. Okay. Wait, All right, let, so uh, you need to click to solve it. it. I'm terrible at crossword puzzles. Oh, so. I'm pretty good at them. I'm okay. Okay, um, good. That's like my 
I'm, I'm the Tori, worst. can you read? Why don't you read our assignment? Okay, Nelson Tethers is Nelson Tethers crossword puzzle has been ripped to bits, but is there something written on it? Reconstruct it to find out. Okay, so let's solve this puzzle. Get the blue line. Did it? Did it go? There we go. Okay, so so we don't right now. It's not about the uh, crossword puzzle. It's a, it's more of a jigsaw puzzle, right? Mm. Yeah. Yes. To... But it says something on the jigsaw puzzle. School S C. Oh about... right, somebody wrote something on it. Yeah. Okay. We need to put these. So we put need this to... back okay. together, Paul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am a terrible at. I can tell you that this is an edge well, piece, the top yeah, left. Yeah, do probably. the corners okay. first. Can I? I think okay, that. So I can just, I'm gonna go here. Uh, let's just do that for now. And then this can go down. Where, where's our? I think. <clears throat> oh, this one's down. Uh, this one's the bottom right. There's that, and then. And one next to it should be the top. Is it next oh. to it, top right? One be- below it. Sasha K tipped three dollars. Lesson one: Never sleep at your desk, kids. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, what about oh, this one? Top left, right? Oh, I'm having a hard time yeah. with the controls, Daniel. You want me and to I'm do this a, one? I'm getting a constant blue line, okay. swirling blue line. So I'm gonna. So, the one that's okay. So we got the, the the corners. What do you want me to do yeah. next? That one goes top right. This one top right. Okay. Yeah. And let me just show you all the other. Okay, these ones just connected. Okay. So there. Um, so now I think is there a is there a yeah that one you just put this one goes to the. Yeah, that one goes to the right. It, they, that fits that little spot right there. There you go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and no, then one goes. This one. Right. That right to the. Yeah. Oh no, here. to the left. Yeah, where you just had it. I think that was. Was Over that here? It? Underneath the school thing. There. There you go. No. no that's that not one right. Goes down there. Right there. Okay, so we have that's four pieces. We have this one. Okay, so one. Daniel, the one that says SCO, that just goes that, that goes straight down onto that to thing the right. right there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then and now the one, one on top left goes in there, right in there, I think. Below. Yeah. Over here. Okay. Yeah. And we've got this piece. Yep. Yep. And... Yep. That one. Is... Good job. It's... Okay. Shugan. Su- submitted to the FBI. Scoggins. Yeah. Scoggins. Well, do we want any? Uh... We well, don't know in, what it means. In each one of the puzzles, you have a what, which uh, explains what you need to do. You get a hint in case you need one. You can reset and you submit it to the FBI. So we submit yeah, so it to the FBI. Yeah. Yes. Seventy-five thousand dollars of the taxpayers' wow. money. What? Well, accepted. We cracked the case. We spent a lot of money. Okay. Right. So, let me... Hey, spiders. Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A- an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's, it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? We're going to Scoggins. Welcome to Scoggins. All right. (laughs) Winter time. Mm -hmm. This is why Ross didn't want to play. Animation's so cute. Oh, so now we're that was just a that was just a prelim that we weren't even in the game. All 
Okay, can I try to give me the controls again, Daniel? See if I can. You have the controls. Oh, I do. Okay. But we're still Just in the arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature. Hmm. It's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully, <laughs> this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Okay. Talk to the creepy man. <laughs> so, this is a point and click adventure game, so you can talk to people. Oh, okay. And uh, you have puzzles. And you can stop c clicking the caps lock. Stop clicking the caps lock? It seems that you're clicking the caps lock. I'm not, I'm just using my mouse to click the talk to the creepy man. Okay, now when you click the mouse somewhere on the screen, <laughs> it gives you like a, a radar blip and shows you things inside the radar blip that you can do. So for example, click somewhere, you see? So there's nothing to do there, but if you click, I don't know, on the window or on the person, then you'll be Excuse able to talk. Excuse me, I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's <laughs> Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yeah. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yeah. Hotel. Okay, okay so uh, wait. Uh, when you have dialogue options that have a jigsaw puzzle icon next to them, then it means that it's a puzzle. Oh, so, so we yeah. had to figure out how to get the hotel, find the hotel. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So let's click, click on it. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. The roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Nelson's snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. Okay, sliding along the roads, the logs help Okay, well, that seems, it seems clear pretty, enough. Clear, but... Uh, try. Okay. okay. Drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged to any free space. Nelson Snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Press submit when you think the logs are arranged correctly. <laughs> All right, Tori. This oh one's God. you. Um, okay. Rules. That was the rules we just read, right? Um, so those are the traffic lights. These. This is him. Where's the hotel? Do we know where the hotel is? Yeah, Probably the, the question mark. Probably the question mark. What if I... Um, okay, so, so Tori, are... let, let's let's establish the perimeter here. We have the grid. Let's say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth column, and Nelson is currently in the sixth column in the first row. So just let us know where to place the logs accordingly. Well, it seems like uh, if he went straight down and then over to two squares and then up out through that stop sign and then down through the other stop sign. And then, does that make sense? So he goes down. 
So okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do what you. So I'm gonna follow you. So I'm gonna go down. Yeah, down. I think we do down. Let's figure go out where down. he's going. Then we hit the log, and then he goes left. And if we continue yeah. to the left, we get to the hotel. But we need to pass through all goes, of the stop then lots. Pass through the stop sign up to the top, and then back down through the other stop sign. So let's talk logs. Which log do you want us to place where? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the, the direction we're going first, because if it goes down straight to the... Okay, so can we move these other logs, the logs that are... Yeah, placed? the log, we have logs in our inventory. We have four logs that we need to place. But but can we, can we, can we replace the these two? Ones? No, we, you can't move the logs that are already placed. You can only okay. place the four in our inventory. And he has to go up and down in a grid, down the, in a grid-like fashion, like straight. So for example, he goes straight down. Once he hits the log, right. then he goes to the left. If we want him yeah. to go through the stop sign, okay. then we need so a log. We need, so we need a log um, on the left side of the square, two squares over from the bottom log. So see where those two trees are? Yeah. Little trees at the bottom, I'm pointing like you can see me. So I think uh, in that third square, at, we need a log to to block right. him. Right here. Right next to that, right? Because we want him to go down this. So wouldn't the log need to be to the left? Or tell me where trees? to stop. Just to the left of the trees, like yeah, you know, like right there, a little further to the right. Like between the trees. Further. Between the trees? Maybe that'll work. Okay, okay. so if we if we go according to the um, current route, we'll go down, hit the first log, and then we go left and hit the second log, and then we go through the stop light, go up, and then what should we, we do? So we need a, a log to block right up there maybe the one that's yeah yeah and then oh man i guess right there would work wouldn't it that go would... boom boom then yeah and then um... still have two Wait. more this looks like it's gonna get us there but it won't so it goes boom 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 Boom. That should work, but do we do we need to place another log so it I mean that's I guess we could try it. We try it? And do you have to use all the logs, Daniel? Well, you can read the rules or submit to find out. Let's read the rules. Drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged to any free space. We'll start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left depending on the log's orientation. Okay, so we need, so got it. So depending on- Right, because some of the logs are slanted different directions. We have Nelson to make sure- Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Okay, so that's okay. okay. So you want this, to submit? Sure. Looks good to me. Yeah, yeah. I think that looks right. Let's do this. Worked, right? Oh, right. We did it, we did it. Nice. 75000 75000 dollars Nice work. I was a little worried because I felt like we had to use all of the logs. Yeah, that was We're still you top, are top agent. agent there. Nice. Alright. Um moving on. Nice work everyone. Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They do. Uh, we're no. at the hotel. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't oh. I? Yeah. Oh. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome. That's so funny. 
factory, suspicious people, goodbye. I don't know. Which one do you want? Um, factory. Does he need to go to the? Okay, let's go to the factory. No, we're not going there. We're talking about the factory. An incident at the Scoggins okay. Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. Nope. nope. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sneaking around. Uh, okay. Uh, suspicious people. We should go. We should say goodbye and go go check in. Right. Or should we talk about see... suspicious people? Uh, okay, let's do that. Talk about suspicious people. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe <laughs> them? Skinny. You. Asks lots of questions. There's a stupid hat. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yep. Okay, I, I didn't realize these were questions. Inspect the fence. Well, we gotta check in. Can't we check in? We gotta close soon. All right, let's. I know. Let's inspect it. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up. Something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Go Go inside the hotel. Yay. When was this made, Daniel? 2010. 2010. Right, we got some options here. Which uh, unfortunately oh, is considered retro. 2010 was a long time ago, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even... crazy. Wait, um... why did you open the menu? I don't know, just uh, I never didn't know we had one. Okay, now you so do. We got, uh, you yeah. have the puzzle solved, the taxpayer cost. Cracked crosswords, directions and detours, a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Journal? Oh, that's our journal. Okay, we've already done all that. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, we can... Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser oh, yeah. Factory, eh? <laughs> We're up. awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm going to make some hot dish for you later. A hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. <laughs> 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 so, um, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Uh oh. Hmm. Mind if I we have ourselves a, a puzzle? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Nice. The security minded night clerk notated Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can get your keys. Oh boy. Nine. N-I-N-E. -N -E. <laughs> right? Does it seem too <laughs> obvious? <laughs> Is that correct? Can we try it? Oh, there's... Is there more than one... Oh, that's a small house. I think it's a, I think it's a joke. I think it's a joke puzzle. Okay. You guys okay if I try it? Yes. Hey, it's the taxpayer's money. Nice. Now I feel pressure to not ever miss a miss a, press a hint. Miss a hint. Hey Daniel, take over for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for 30 there seconds. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh yeah, now I see. Okay then, here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, what should we ask her? Getting around, uh... Scott Gaines Erasers, puzzled patron. Let's just start with getting around. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is cooked. 
Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins Erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you My, know uh... anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, My so wife is from North Dakota, accident, huh? and so accident? her oh, well, family. Oh yeah, the foreman Isaac Davner. They say he was killed mom in there. Mom definitely have that, that and so? occasionally. Well, not to be when she's gossipy, around them, you'll hear her do that. The oh yeah, was caused oh, no. by raccoons. Raccoons? Raccoons. Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. So you oh. went to tell your wife about Puzzle Agent so that she could tell you the solutions to the upcoming <laughs> puzzles? Exactly. Wait, so what, well, what would did... what would you do? In, uh, puzzled Patron. I guess we'll do Puzzled Wait, Patron. Wait, what did she say about the raccoons? What was that? Just that there's raccoons? Is that what Yeah, yeah he, he's, what and he asked what, what's that and she explained what the word raccoon meant. Where was the word raccoon? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an Miss odd one. There are yeah, raccoons around the factory. He sits there all day trying factory. to do his puzzles. Okay. He mostly keeps to himself, no, and I bring him some itself. food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Okay, we've got goodbye, and that's it. And that's it. Thanks. I'm gonna... Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick MD in Cupy months anywhere says that anywhere this used town. to be a harder, but was changed like because people spring. couldn't solve it. That was the <laughs> so nine. Gum? Nope. The number nine one? They gum just changed it and kept it. Like said, screw it, we'll just make it super simple. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so you have gum around the... Sometimes there are locations in which you can pick up gum. And gum can be used as hints in upcoming puzzles. So you see, oh. you see gum somewhere so you on the floor right there. That gum? It's on the. There's something right here. Yeah, pick it up. Okay. There's some on the wall as well. Sorry, I'm okay. Okay, Nelson tethers things best when he's chewing gum, any kind of gum. Disgusting. Find discarded <laughs> gum and use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's another one right here. Serious gum act. Ugh. I I am not a fan of gum. Are you good? Do, do you chew gum, Tori? Are you a Tori gum chewer? Well, I like gum sometimes. Sometimes, what's, but you don't. What's your you don't issue with gum? gum? Yeah, what's wrong? Uh, you don't personally, you don't. I, I I've got. <laughs> uh, I don't like just chewing for no reason. Just chewing, chewing, and then never stopping. That seems sort of silly. And then the gum loses flavor, and then you're like chewing on something that doesn't have flavor anymore. And I don't like the chewing what? aspect, anyways. <laughs> so it drives me crazy. You and then when I see gum? people chewing gum, I don't like the look of people you chewing. Like yeah, or the it sound. It drives me crazy. Just that, and especially the, yeah, you know, when you see someone's gum in their mouth and they're, uh, it dry, it, that, all that drives me insane. I, I, Man, this feels like, like a Phantasmagoria 2 therapy session. I know, oh, but what is. about bazooka? Did, did you, did oh, you I loved it. I mean, I did it. I mean, it's not like I haven't had some, and I'll, and occasionally I'll have a, a piece if I feel like my breath warrants it and someone has gum. But I, I, I it'll last, I, I will chew for maybe, two three minutes and then it's out you know I, I do not hold on to it for long my family however are gum chewers and um it's uh not it's a it's a sticking point 
How's that? How's well, that? the only problem with gum is actually when people chew it with their mouth mouths open. But if they Ugh. don't chew, or the, if they or chew the it smacking, with... the gum smacking, ah, oh, that drives me absolutely insane. Yeah, then... but when people chew it with with their mouth closed, you're bothered by that as well. Well, if I don't see it, then I don't mind. But if I'm watching someone chewing gum, it drives me a little crazy. Jeez. What about bubble popping? Oh, I hate it. Yeah. I'm going to go warm myself by the fire here. You open up a can of worms, Paul. I'm going to talk <laughs> about gum a, nonstop. I've opened up a pack of gum. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Okay, Boa swallowed a rubber band again. His x-rays show only tapeworms. Or does it? Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Wait, we're going to look at his... He has a x-ray there that he's looking at? This is so yeah. bizarre. That's this a bizarre... So, you what? need... You need I'm gonna to arrange... Write, what? You need to arrange the puzzle so that you'll know where the rubber band is and what's the tapeworm. Oh, I see. Okay. Distinguish between them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's hard to do this without being able to move it. Um, you can. I wish we could, we could give you the controls, but you you still have your little mouse pad. Will she be able to do it with her mouse pad? She can. Wait, you're on your laptop, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's give it control and let's see if that works. Okay. Give it a try. Um just move the cursor into the Oh it's the first time the Tori is playing. <gasps> this is super exciting. So I wish this live stream would never end. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm just, first of all, trying to figure out how to move these pieces. So you just oh, do that. Okay, I'm not moving them in the right spot, obviously. What's it's up, like, Clement? It Good feels like this you. goes, this is correct, like that. And it just needs a tail. This is super exciting, Tori. Right. Our viewership just went from 42 to 1,000, like in one second. <laughs> Word got out that you got control and good to go. Well, I don't, okay, there. Does that look right? That. Move this guy here. Why did I move him there? Um, do I do tipped five pieces of eight? You go to Rye. You go to Rye. <laughs> I'm going to call you to Rye from now on. <laughs> go to Rye. This one is hard. Okay. This is the first time we see Tori at work, like hands yeah. on. She's yes. super focused. I mean, she could break into the FBI if she wants. Like, in five I'm minutes, she'll say, I'm in. No, I'm going to mess this up. I'm scared. Well, we don't have to submit. We can, we can. Do I do tip one million dollars? <laughs> uh... Thanks, do I do. Oh, okay, you're making yeah. This is they're all looking. Well, I don't know if this. Oh, I see what this, you're talking. This about. guy has to move. This whole tapeworm has to move over because we need. Do we need to see the end of his tail? Yeah, but for example, the you can rotate them. <laughs> uh, but for example, the the problem is that. Um, oh, you can rotate them. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how this works. So I was trying. To, I was moving them. I didn't realize you could rot rotate. Them. So. They need to be the same the same width. This way you'll know that it's correct. So for example, let me have control for a second. Over here, you can see that the this doesn't match this because it's wider than yes. the rest of the But look at this guy's head is wider than the rest of his body and it's already attached, so but that's a little confusing, right? That head it's not attached to that head though. You can move that head over there. Well, don't, don't forget that the goal of this puzzle is to arrange the, the the pieces in a way that you'll be able to distinguish between the tapeworm, the tapeworms, and the rubber band. Mm -hmm. Oh, so uh, uh, the hidden object is going to be... We're looking, trying to get the... 
your squiggly pig just right, what basically what Daniel just said. You needed to rotate the worms until some hidden object appears. Um, it mentioned something about a rubber band. Yeah, that's right, exactly right. what they said. So basically we're looking at an X-ray, which for some reason shows you the tapeworm. And um, that's it. So we'll need to have a rubber band that will be a round object. It's closed, a closed loop. Well, okay. So maybe this is part of the rubber band. Uh, this is. These are the kind of puzzles I'm glad to have other people do. This might. This doesn't. I'm good with word puzzles for the most part. So we, we're not moving these pieces, we're just rotating, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Man, this is so super exciting. One... I, I forgot that we were live streaming. I was watching the live stream at the moment. This is riveting. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, wait, wait, go, go back. back. Go back. But well, who's doing it? Oh, I did. <laughs> Dory, wait, Dory. You, you, Dory. Yeah, good. Ooh, that's good. Okay, yeah, I was doing it wrong the oh. first time. I was confused with this. Okay, this one just has to be rotated. I didn't know we rotated. I was trying to move the piece. <laughs> now I get it. Okay, wait. Victoria, there's, there's one. one. Oh, there's one that's oh, no. missing. Like right where you're at right now. That the second one down right there. That seems to be because. Oh, no. Yeah, but take notice that now you have a piece that's not connected to anything at the top. Yeah, that's the missing piece, right? This is right there, that? Yeah, because it's not a worm, it's nothing. So that's, is that every, the tail, every tail has to be connected to a worm. A oh, worm that's a tail. And, yeah, you're right. and, and we need to get our rubber band somewhere. This is so hard. That looks like that works, but you're you're right now. Oh, 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 oh! But then that yeah. top part is it okay to have the top part? CJ uh, tip to twenty dollars. It's spaghetti time. Thank you, CJ. It's... Thank you, CJ. It is spaghetti time. That looks good. Yeah. Everything needs a tail, though. You said so. This one doesn't. Yeah, have but a tail. for for example, but for example, uh, give me control for a second. The width of this part doesn't match this part, yeah, and you have this that. worm that isn't exactly warm. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Okay, um, yeah, this isn't matching. And don't forget that we need to have a rubber band, which means that we'll need to have something that's a closed loop somewhere around here. A closed loop, you're right. Okay, got it, got it. You're doing great, Dory. It already looks like it's what it's... I think I need to... I feel like I need to move that everything. That one was... This one looks about right, but... It, uh, try this... that... Try that one. What does that it's... one do? No. In the one below it? Yeah. Okay, so for example, now oh. you, the the worm has two heads. So yes, I see that. I see that. So. Okay, this is not. This is not working. Um. That's not right. Oh, I, I need to just take it from square to square. So Daniel, the, the third square from the top, the, the, um, in which column? The worm, uh, the third, third from the right to the top. So top one, two, three, um, you see the worm's head and then his body just goes to the top. Is that okay? Oh, that looks right to me, but is that, is it, do you need to see that rest of that body? 
No, if his body is, if his body goes out the frame, it's fine. Okay, good. If the the other pieces make sense, but at the moment there are a lot of pieces that don't make sense because the width. <laughs> this this looks right like that, doesn't you should it? Try, you should try just try solving it like a jigsaw puzzle. You start mm-hmm. from the corners, and then in the corners you know there is probably just one or two options that seem correct, and then take it from there. That's right. So that one's that right. That one's gotta go like this. I think this one. Let me just see what else this can do. No. Well, unless this one. But that's two heads, though. You have a head to, to a head. Yeah. Okay, so. I think you were right. Oh, that might. Ooh, whoa, go back. Go one more. Right, right, no, one more. Right know. there. That looks pretty yeah, good. Oh, that's actually really good. But this, is that? Yeah, I think that works. As you can see that that snake goes all the way down to the bottom there. This one's not working. There you go. That, no, okay. Okay, that might be, that might be right. But yeah, if you go yeah, down. Okay, 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 wait a minute. That's got two heads. That doesn't work. This is so hard. Oh, wait, I was. This doesn't work. Yeah, that one. All right, let me. Just... What Danny was suggesting, corner. I think. His music is so frustratingly relaxing. Nah. Yeah, music is great. Okay, so that. I think this has to go. Oh, that might. Hmm. A little different. Like, I feel like this has to be that one. That looks pretty good. Except, except Daniel's right. The one, yeah, where you're at right now, that. Oh, there you go. Now it's two heads. Ah. Uh. Maybe this guy's wrong. Maybe that's part of it. Oh boy. All right. Sorry, guys. No. Take your time, Tori. Okay. Okay, so this one is wrong. Double headed is not allowed, that's correct. Right, so. You need a head attached to that. <clears throat> Ooh, wait a minute. You, wait, wait, stop. You're pretty good there, except... There's no rubber band. Well, those. but there's also one snake that has no heads. Right, so this... I mean, this could be the rubber band. What do you think? So, Daniel, what? Okay, oh, no, can he I said just... the, the, it has to be. Sorry, it has to be. The rubber band has to be a loop. It has to be yeah. round, right? Yeah. Do you see a rubber right. band? Mm-hmm. We don't see a rubber band. Okay, and we got to figure this out. You can use a hint if you want. Hmm. We have enough gum. Can use a hint. I want to be able to solve this. I'm sure you will. <laughs> okay. Um... And usually I'm sarcastic, but this time I'm not. I'm actually sure okay, you will. We... Okay, I just moved something too, and now I messed it up. 
Where could, okay. I was trying Ray to get Koopa like a- Koopa tipped five pieces 08, heads or tails. I think I'm assuming All of them. the rubber band. Who is that, Daniel? Ray, Ray Koopa? Yeah, heads or tails, all of them. Thanks. Thank you, Ray. <clears throat> Maybe try a different approach. Instead of looking at the worms, try to find the rubber band, create a close loop, and then take it from there. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to find the rubber band. I think it's got to be. I was thinking it was going to be in the, more than in the center, but I think that might be wrong. Something around here, because this guy doesn't. You're supposed to see his tail, right? Well, you don't. You're not going to see this guy's tail. Well, if his tail goes out the frame, it's fine. But currently, yeah. the problem is that the width of this doesn't match the rest of the tail. So, <clears throat> use the that. Of, yeah. Well, some of them are a little off anyway. Like, look at these guys are narrow and fat. So that's why it's confusing. I think uh, that uh, it has to go from thicker to skinnier, right? So the right, you don't right. go from skinny to thick. So if this, yeah, play around with that. For example, try to think of, of pieces that don't have that many options by rotating them and seeing if anything matches. This guy has to go. That looks good. Try, try, yeah. Just try yep. to match the widths of the tail. Regarding the double headed, um, let's okay, ignore yeah. that for now. Let's see if it works with double headed and we'll take it from there. What, this double headed? Yeah, so for example, it matches the width. Yeah, Let's give it okay. a try. Okay, Looks like you're on to you're getting close to. Hmm. Do we do a hint? Wait, before we, we do a hint, um, take a look at the width of the of the tail at the bottom. You have at the fourth row in the third column, go one right, one to the right. Uh, this one, this one, no, yeah. this one, no, 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 this one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um. So third column, fourth row, the width of that tail doesn't match the rest of the tail. So if you'll give me controls for a sec, this yeah. tail, this tail is fine. This, the continuation of this tail is also fine, but this tail doesn't match in width. Right, so right. you might want to rotate that. Yeah, I agree. All right. That's better. I feel like um, this looks. This looks like they match. These look like they match. It's just that there's no rubber band. Maybe we don't. Maybe these guys are wrong.
Uh, Squiggly Pig wants to know if Chad can chime in, or would you rather have us throw st- not throw stuff out there? Well, I know the I solution. Mean, I can tell Tori what to do, and we have the hints. So. So, but I don't. I shouldn't have. They can't have two heads, right? So I need to fix this. You know. No, this le- thing. leave the two heads. Let's find the rubber band. If uh, the widths match, then we'll go from there. All right. Let me look with them. Uh, this looks a little off, right? This looks off. I feel like this is rubber band, and this is rubber band, but they're not. Um. Ooh. Hmm. I have a feeling yeah, the rubber band is going to be right in the middle somehow. <clears throat> yeah, I can. I can tell you where, where the rubber band is if it, it will help. Yeah, where <sighs> is it going to be? The rubber band will be in the center. Yeah, so we're close right now. So you're almost there. What's that? Just flip that one around a couple I didn't times. Find the rubber band. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. Yeah. Maybe it's a bigger rubber band. Maybe it's more than those four corners there. So you want me to tell you which parts are correct? <laughs> Welcome to our. Sure, world, let's so, say, sorry. tell us what parts are correct. Okay, so um, this part is correct, and these three, these three seem to be correct. So the this, whole top, the whole top line. The top yeah, line. The top seems to be correct. Is it in the second but row? But the second one. I think these two. I mean, I can tell you which parts are are the rubber band to help you out. You want me to do that? Yes. Well, no. Is well, this you... part with this part the rubber band? Well, th- this part is wrong. This part is wrong. No, this part is right. I think this part is wrong. No, this part is right. This, oh. Let's see. It was this way. I think this part is uh, incorrect. This one, okay. Yeah. And then we'll get. Okay, now you're getting to a okay. more rubber bandish. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that feels right. I thought I didn't know you could have a tail hanging off the end like that. Um. Okay. That's my excuse. <laughs> Uh, Just do one more. Okay, so you, you see the rubber band. Yeah. You see the rubber band, but it's not closed. So you might want to check the bottom row. Oh, the bottom row, okay. Okay, now do you see a rubber band? Yes, 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 And yes. the widths are fine? Yeah, I was too preoccupied with the snakes having heads and tails, I think. Yeah, I was so, with you on that. Um, there okay. it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it, yeah, right? Let, let's submit it. That's painful. <laughs> <laughs> Another seventy-five grand. We did it. Nice job, Jory. That was a, that's not not a good job. I mean, Daniel had to talk me through it. I'm mad at myself. Well, but that's but what this. No. That's what these games are. Better. I mean, that's that's well, well done. Of... Well done, Tori. First of all, that's it was super point. exciting to see you at work. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for all these years. Oh. All right, let's okay. go. Let's okay, go. click the okay. 
Dory, you've got control. Oh, I'm doing it. I, I didn't so, know I was building it. Now maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers, if it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not. Okay. Alright. So um, can we click on this? You can click on whatever you want. Nothing bad will happen. So oh, these are our not... puzzles. Yeah, you can click the back. We spent $302,571 from the taxpayer's money. Well done. That's Dory and Paul. So we got doors. You've got a door in, on, in the back. You've got a door right there. Yeah. Let's go this way. Screwdriver. Hmm. Pick up the screwdriver. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. <laughs> I doubt it. Come on, the screwdriver's got. Grab it. Someone grab left it. a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks oh, clean. Seen it. Probably of no consequence. How do, you, how do you pick it up? How do you make him take it? How do I pick it up? You don't have paper. to pick up objects. Just hmm. winner undeclared in local contest. The Annabelle Grill oh. ladies arm Annabelle wrestling Grill. Because and the Grand judge Annabelle. missed it. Read the four oh, statements and help them determine the winner. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, can I can I play? I want to play. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me give you control. Let's see. This one. Are you sure you want to have control, Paul? Because uh, it might be. A bit complicated. Might be too much for my for my limited brain. <laughs> Outmatched by the grizzly grip, hat won fair and square. I pin the pearl like a new hat. Flows grizzly grip couldn't whip me. So what is it now? We're gonna do. It's it over. The judge five. missed it. Read the four statements and help them determine the winner. So four statements are gonna get us there. Okay. I pin the pearl like a new hat outmatched like by the grizzly grip flows grizzly couldn't whip me pat one fair and square so pat one <laughs> oh that was just her opinion though it could be interesting. are there other things to look at i mean what are we doing we're just um you need to click on the winner who do you think won the match oh just click on the winner we don't have to like move things around nope who's the winner so she was outmatched. So th this one, this one, I don't think won. The grizzly grip looks like it won. Uh, Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. She was outmatched. Bat won fair and square. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Duh, golly, this is a tough one. I don't think we... Um, so did Pearl? No, no. Flows. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. So she's saying that she won, but it seems like this might be Pat because she says Pat won fair and square. She pinned Pearl. She's saying I I was outmatched. And she's saying Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. I mean, she could be Pat. I think she must be Pat. Pat went fair and square. Think, I pinned you think Pearl, this one's so Pat? The one with the black hair is the grizzly grip, I think. Flo. Flo has the grizzly grip. Uh, yeah, I think Pat is the one in the closest to us. And. All right, want to give it a good. But is she telling the truth that Pat won fair and square? Wait, Let, let's assume they're all telling the truth. So Pat won fair and square. So she's not talking about herself. She's talking right. about someone else. So she's not the winner. She's saying, oh, outmatched by the grizzly grip. So she's also not the winner. Okay. These two, I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Like I kicked her butt. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. So whip, pinned, new hat. So I think it's between these two. You were thinking it's this one, Tori. I think um, I think you're probably right. Because I think maybe Pearl is the one with the um, 
that says Pat One Fair and Square. Mm hmm. Would it be? I, I'd like to see what uh, the hints look like, just to see what, like, how how much of a hint do they give you, or is it kind of? Are Go we? Ahead. Is it kind of? You can get okay. hints. You know, this is just like Mon a Return to Monkey Island. You get hints, and they, uh -huh. as you progress with taking more and more hints for the same puzzle, then it becomes more obvious. Yeah, I think the one in okay. the front. Is, the contestants is were eliminated in the first round. Can you figure out which two? Yeah, you figured them yeah. out. Yes. Oh wait, I don't want to spend more. Flo won the first round, but lost the contest. Which winner is not Flo? This one's not Flo. Yeah, she's not Flo. The other one, the one with, that's not Flo. The one with the, the green blue shirt is not Pat. I uh, pin Pearl. The one on the left is not Pearl. I think Pearl is the maybe, one. Maybe this is it. Maybe she's saying, ha ha, I'm the Grizzly Grip and you, I outmatched you. I think that we have to assume that she's not the Grizzly Grip because she's, she, yeah, she's, she's talking she was about leading. it. Yeah. So I think it is, the, it's got to be the one in the front, right? The, the little one in the front. Give it a go. But maybe. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well done. I'm glad I I'm glad I took over control of that one. That was good. That was fun. That was a tricky one. Okay. Um. Oh. Do you want to stay? Do you want to control it for a little bit, Paul? Yeah. Sure. Is there anything, anything? else here to look at? Let's see. <laughs> Nothing. It's like we've done everything that we came here to do. The real Canadian rage is wondering how we're playing all three of us. Oh, well, we're playing it over Zoom and I'm giving them control according to whoever wants to play. I see more gum on the floor. Oh, yeah. Yep. Since we already used two sticks of gum. And we all know how difficult it is for Paul to use gum, even to get hints. <laughs> Well, these okay. yeah, those are Scoggins Oops. gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still well, have you're having all kinds of trouble here. Yeah. All right. A ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome and the wireless photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Oh, okay. Oh, the negative is going to reverse it, right? Mm -hmm. oh. so the gamers Grotto says, interesting the Telltale mail this. It doesn't seem like their style. I know this is my favorite Telltale game because it's not their style. It's very interactive and very interesting. And I like Ram Animal. Yeah, well, so. The one in the lower right corner, um, wait a minute. I think it might be this one here. Or the one in the upper right didn't get Oh wait, yet. maybe that one. The real Canadian Rage asks if I'm not a fan of Telltale. I am a fan of Telltale, but this is my favorite Telltale game. So this one, his face is facing this way and his arms are up and here. And there's the opposite. Are the Would colors you... reversed too? Yep, they are oh, reversed. Oh, good call. Because good it's call. a negative. Right. And like my so t-shirt says, life is like photography. You use the negatives to develop. And there. Wait, so and is it? The, it's a picture. Let's see. 
A ceramic gnome has disappeared. Let's see, we'll you know. Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. So it's the picture is of that same. Were these pictures before they were all put on here, or are they in the same order? Okay, think of it. You remember using film for your cameras, both of you, yeah, yeah. including myself. Okay, so you got the negative, and it's uh, reversed. So you're looking at the back of the negative. So on one hand, the negative of the red is green, and the negative of the green is red. And then, and you also look at it backwards. It's it, the image is reversed, basically. Red. So for example, if we take a look at the one you're pointing at, the gnome you're pointing at, it's the one that's already in the image because he's looking the opposite direction. And the shirt, the green shirt in the negative is red shirt in the actual location. And the red hat is the green hat in the actual location. So the leftmost gnome in reality is the equivalent of the rightmost gnome in the negative. So they're fine. Take it from there. But you have to look at their hand is up and they're looking towards their hand. It's going to be reversed, so they still have to be yeah. looking toward it. Yeah, so but there's only two down. green hats. There's only two green hats, right? And there's three red hats here. So it's got to be one of the green. It's got to be one of these three because there's only two green hats. So there's three here. So the other three. So it's are one these, red right? in the but in the in the negative one of the red hat ones is because there's only so two green. Top. So it's one of the ones with the red hat we know. Yes. So Daniel already basically said this one. So red hat, that's a green hat. He's looking that way. He's got a red. This one looks. Somebody, got... sorry, somebody's at my door. Sure thing. Sorry. Well, it's fine. Take your time. I think this one has been done. And. This one, red hat, that's a green hat. He's looking that way. Oh, it might not be this one. It might be this one. That's the same as this. I think it, I think it might be this guy because he's facing the same way as him. Which guy do you think? And his arms are the same as him. So I think he can't be face. It can't be. It can't be him, because they're facing the same way, and it can't be him because their arms are exactly the same. I think it's this dude. I think you're. I think you're right. Yep. I think that's it. Okay. It will spend the taxpayers' money. To find out well, if, if, I'm the, right. if I'm the first one is wrong, I'm gonna be sad. You well okay? Yay! Good job, Paul. Sorry, I thought they were gonna come at two of these people. That they came. What a mom! How dare people come early? Good job, good job. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my! Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> She's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. let's. Uh, what about, is there other stuff to look at? What was that? Like I told you, when you click something that's not interactive, you get a radar blip that shows you what is interactive in that vicinity. Oh, so if I do this. Then you see that you can talk to her and you can talk to him. Oh, we've done that already, so. Okay, let's get out of here. Sorry guys, I have to. No problem. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like oh, I'm the primed for all the is hot dish I can eat. It remains Jensen, to be seen if that's a good try it was in I got a map from the hotel owner, like so I'm old. heading over to the eraser factory. Just love Agent the game. Tether's out. So you guys are chatting about games. Am I supposed to be Atlantis, saying that? I guess. Okay, um, uh, yesterday yesterday in the uh, Dave Grossman interview, 
and people who came in late to the interview were bummed that they came in late and they had to watch from the middle. But people on YouTube just remember that even though this is a live stream, even if you came in late, you can rewind the beginning of the live stream and watch from the beginning. So oh. you don't have to watch from where you we can are do it right now? now. Yeah, they can rewind oh. to the beginning of the live stream and use this time to actually watch it. Sure, the chat oh. won't be in sync with what they're watching, but at least they'll be able to watch the live stream. Cool. Select the factory. All right, so we got stuff here. We're at the end. We got a whole bunch of places to go. Oh my goodness, Scoggins Farm. Uh, somewhere else, Moose Ear Diner. I'm kind of hungry, personally. All right, let's go to the Moose Ear Diner. Diner okay. Tart. I'll, I'll buy you a burger. MDQP Here tipped three dollars. Here, buy yourself some hot dish, guys. <laughs> Thank you, MDQP. Well, except it's not letting us go anywhere. How do we get there? Click on the I'm factory. Clicking. On the factory. Oh, it says click on. Okay, it tells us to. We have to do what it's telling us to do. I wanted to go to the diner though. We were hungry. Thank you, do do. Thank you, do do. Oh, trespassing. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> it's quite boarded up. Is that boarded up? Hi, Sheriff Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in our right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. Oh, boy, here we go. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be... Why don't you uh, give uh, Tori the control to an explosion. What? Lot. There you go, Tori. Okay. Oh, and you've got a, a dialogue option that's a puzzle. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> Paul knew what he was doing. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. The Rest Easy Guard Service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Midnight to midnight. Um, okay. Boom. One hour before the last shift started. Last shift, an hour before. It's 11 o'clock at night, the first night. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Midnight to midnight is not eight hours. That's 12 hours. I get oh. the shortest sh shift, three hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Oh boy. Okay, so boom, one hour before the last shift started. The last shift started. I got the shortest shift, three hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Okay, so the. Can we go back to what? What's? Go back to the question. You can I mean, click uh, the what. Hit the what. Okay. Yep. Uh, I to keep watching the factory from midnight to midnight. Okay. From their statements. So from midnight to midnight yesterday. One hour before the last shift started. So it was 11 p.m. So before the... Okay, so it was 11 p.m. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. So that's, he's not Bernie. We don't know who Bernie is, but it wasn't him. I get the short, oh, so it's not. We're trying to find out what time it, it, the noise went off, right? Yep. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. Well, Why? Because it's one hour before the last shift started. If the shift starts at 12, it's but, an hour before that. But, but you don't know what, how, how long a shift lasts. 
Oh, a last shift started. Because, for example, only Bernie put in the full eight hours, which means that there are shifts that are shorter than the eight hours. We don't don't know if Bernie started his shift at midnight or if he started. Well, there's one one shift started at six, worked from six till I was relieved. So So the first shift started at six, right? No, you don't know that the first shift. the first. Yeah. I get the shortest shift, three hours. This doesn't give us enough information. Um, well, you know uh, that you have the shortest shift, which is three hours, mm-hmm. and the longest, or basically the, was eight. the size of full length shift is eight hours, and only Bernie had an eight hour shift. And one hour before the last shift started, they heard the explosion. So how long are all the shifts? Well, that's what you need to find out. Well, if he's the last shift, then he started four hours in, right? Um, Oh, wait, no, it's a 24-hour period, midnight to midnight. So, uh, okay, so if it's a 24-hour period, Want to read the what again? So, so Bernie's was the last so 16 hours in to the shift he started, and the hour one hour before his shift ended. Oh wait, only Bernie. Oh, we don't know if he was the last shift. Okay. But we know that it seems like Bernie was there. He's the one who's saying, "Whoa, boom!" One hour before the last shift ended, so he was right. there when it happened, and he was the only one who put in eight hours. And. It worked. Oh, wait, wait. If I worked from six till I was relieved, let's say it's no. Okay, a, a regular shift is eight hours. Mm-hmm. If you work from six till you're relieved, so six plus eight is what? Seven, eight, nine, seven. But you need to do. You need to take the the midnight to midnight and break it down into shifts, and right. then, since you know that only one person did an eight-hour shift. Mm and someone did a three hour shift that leaves you with two shifts that you don't know the length of and since someone is also telling you the hour in which his shift started then you can use that to pinpoint where or how long his shift was okay so 12 to 8 8 to 4 and 4 to 12. those are the three shifts so Al works a seven hour shift. Al works a seven hour shift. Why do you think that? Well, because. Al Bernie's could have worked six, six hours or five hours or four hours because we know that Pop got the shortest shift, which was three hours. So we need right, to figure out. Because it's a 24 hour period. So if yeah. Bernie works. Uh, an eight hour shift, Pop works three, Mm -hmm. Iggy works six, that is seven hours left. He worked from six, not six hours. He worked from six. No, but I think I heard you. Oh, he worked from six. Sorry, 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 sorry. Either 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. I worked from six till I was relieved. So given given the fact that we know that the longest shift is eight hours, so... He was relieved before. Okay, so let me think. Okay, so 11, 6, and 3. I mean, 8 and 3 is 11, and that leaves 13 hours left. Divided between the other two. So 10 hours. Did somebody work 10 hours? No. The longest no, shift was 8 hours. The longest hours. shift is 8, so it's got to. Well, that's why it's got to be. Okay, we don't know what Al, Al, we have no clue how much Al worked. We know that Iggy worked from six until he was relieved. We know that Pop worked three hours and we know that Bernie worked eight. What we don't know is what Al worked. So Bernie definitely worked eight, right? I need a pencil. 
I know, I'm doing a pencil right now. Bernie worked eight hours. Mm -hmm. Pop worked three. And also, don't forget that even if you determine how long was, was each shift, you still need to know how long the last shift was to know the solution to the puzzle, which is when did they hear the explosion? Eight and eleven. So that's 11, 24 minus. So 13. Okay, I think. So they could both have worked six and a half hours to, to, to uh, Al and Iggy. Oh, but let's say this. Okay, I think I, until I was relieved. I worked from six till I was relieved. So if he worked from Oh, 6 to 12. He worked from 6 to 12. So I think uh, Iggy worked the last... Uh, he worked the last shift. If six Iggy... To if, but... There's so many different ways you could you could figure it out. Because but I Iggy... Iggy is stating that he worked from 6 till he was relieved. So he was relieved. Which means it's not the last shift. Oh, he wasn't. That's a good point. You're right. He worked from six till, but they're not twelve hour. They're not. They're not. So if if the shifts aren't twelve to eight, eight to four, and four to twelve, so it could be twelve to eight is the first shift. Eight to ten is the three hour short shift, and then from ten to that'll be eleven. Eight to eleven. Uh, no, that doesn't work either. Um, 12 to <laughs> Iggy Pop. <laughs> Good one. The first. Uh. Ah. So maybe the first shift is 12 to 3. The second shift is Bernie's from 3 to 11, right? You know, you, you can brute force it, basically. By... Wait, 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 11, and then 11 to... 11 to get... 6 is, um, is Iggy's shift, and then 6 to 12 was Al's shift. No, but he worked from 6. He started working at 6, was Iggy. But you don't know which 6, 6 a.m. Oh. or 6 p.m.? Yeah, that's... What, oh, 6... Yeah, he started working... Oh my gosh. I wasn't thinking 24 hours. Okay. I mean, I was. I'm so confused. So 12 to... 12. 12 to 8, 8 to 4, and 4 to 12. 12 minutes. Those 12 are minutes. eight hour shifts. Those are three eight hour shifts. One of them has a three hour shift. And then there's two more that split 13 hours. Right? That's what we have. We have 13 hours that are unaccounted for. And we don't know if... And one started at 6. So it could have been 6 to 8 or 6 to 12. Um, I think he had to work the third shift. No, but that's the last week. He's not... He had to work the first shift. Because he had to work, he, he he had to work the 6 a.m. Otherwise, he would be the last. Yeah. Oh, no, not necessarily. Yeah, I would think he worked the 6 a.m. shift. Yeah, I agree. So. Why? But what feel, because why? Because if he worked the other one, he wouldn't have been relieved. If he worked at 6 from 6 okay. to 12 midnight, he wouldn't have been relieved. Okay. So 6 a.m. So we've got Iggy from 6 a.m. until... We don't know. We don't until know. So not 2 p.m. And until 1 p.m. Max, why one? because his, his uh, shift is the shortest. His shift... Bernie put in the full eight hours. So all the other shifts are shorter, which means that if he worked from 6 a.m., he worked until 1 p.m. 
max. Or 12 p.m. or 11 a.m. or whatever. It doesn't work that he works at 6 a.m. because there's not... It doesn't work to have the first shift be a six-hour shift. Why not? Because the first hour is... Then that is Al's shift, right? So if Al's shift is from midnight to 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and Iggy's shift is... Mm -hmm. uh, well, you, you need... Okay, oh no, it, we don't know how long Iggy's... Okay, so that could work. Um, let's see, wait, wait, wait. Let me just think here. Okay, so Iggy's shift... It would be, that'd be seven hours, right? For example, if Iggy ship it would be would be six a.m. One p.m. One. Wait, six a.m. to one p.m. And then you'd have one p.m. Uh, to nine would be Bernie's, and then nine to twelve would be pops that works so one to nine wait one hour before the last shift started one hour he, he was on the wait, wait, wait. is before yeah the that's launch. right you're right it's 8 p.m so it's 8 p.m it's 8 p.m because Pop started at nine. That was one hour and one hour before, and, and he was done at nine. I think it's eight p.m. So Bernie is the um, second to last because he was the one that heard the explosion, and he's the one telling you the time of the explosion. So he was right. on shift. Then you have Pop afterwards. So. Which means that from midnight, three hours back, we got 9 p.m. And then one hour before the last shift started, brings us to... Yeah, that's the easier way to think of figuring out. But, um, okay. yeah, we figured out the Do long Do we agree way. it's 8 p.m.? <laughs> yes. Do it. Come on, Tori. Click 8 p.m. Yeah, Tori. Oh, oh, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, where do I click it? Where do I click it? Do I move the clock? It's Probably. submit. Oh no, yeah, hit, hit. Oh, that's good, the clock, yeah. But how do I make it? Uh... Oh, no, that's gonna be. Clicking. That's keep gonna clicking be until it's eight. Not working. Nothing's happening. But how do we make it p.m., not 8 a.m.? I we think assume. it's just... Yeah, they'll just, assume. I think they're, they're going to let G you. G given the fact that it has to be p.m. Oh, yeah. It's always the same amount of money. Yay! Well done, Tori. Well done, Paul. <laughs> well done, chat. Sorry, you keep forgetting your role. You need to click the oh, OK. I'm, sorry. I'm not used to being explosion. in the drama. <laughs> Couldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm. Good point. Maybe they grew back. Foreman investigation. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? No, nope. he's just gone. Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even Isaac. know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. Mm. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, well that's we'll because have to help it's you. missing a piece. <laughs> I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. <laughs> Good voice. That's right, Goodbye. sir. 
Well, That's I don't crazy. seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? Yes, the Moose Ear Diner. To the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think. Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. We get the Moose Ear in a bit. I don't trust that guy. Niathra says, hi Paul Torin. Daniel, this is the hmm. first stream I'm catching live. Welcome! Hey! Yay. Glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Oh, you're whipping what binge watching the old videos. That's uh that's quite a that's quite a task you have ahead of you. Hmm. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The door It's just five hour five hundred hours of content. Some so. sort of custom built contraption has got this content, place God. locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged though. It seems to be missing a piece. Put a piece of gum in there. We got gum. No, gum actually, it's work. more than 500 hours. We've got 250 <laughs> videos. Let's say an average of three hours each. What about the uh, that? Yeah, try that thing. What's that? Nothing. Johan is back. I'm back. Hello, Paul. Hello, Daniel. And hello, up, Adrian Johan? Delaney. Um. um. Okay, why don't you meet him at the diner? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't want to go to a diner. Do I need to get my map out? No, okay. it will come out on its own. Okay, so you see the Moose Ear Diner? Yes. Okay, so for those of you who don't live in the United States, when you go to a diner and you order food, do they give you... Yesterday... For Saturday, my son and I went to a diner. We were out of town for this basketball weekend event called Hoop Fest. We went to a diner and we just wanted to get, you know, regular breakfast, eggs and some pancakes. And the pancakes were like, you know, they were just huge. And the, it was like the food was so much food. There's no way we could have eaten it all. And it just seems like such a waste to, I mean, I guess some people like to eat a lot of food. But, yeah, it's, I think it's, it's a, you think it's a U.S. thing? I think yeah. it is. I think that we, we put, we just, we just give way too big of portions at our, our it is a US thing. diners and restaurants and stuff. It is. Mm -hmm. Daniel, did you notice when you were in London that the first thing they ask you in the restaurant is if you have an allergy? Or yeah, yeah, food which is yeah, which is pretty important. I guess they don't want to get sued. Yeah. How come in the but U.S. they they don't ask you that? Since I'm surprised. Yeah. If anything, you know, on bags of uh, Superman costumes, you have "Don't try to fly" written all over the place. <laughs> so true. Or, or the the pools for children. I don't see yeah, the colors of the pools. They're just warnings all around. Mm -hmm. Sit with your child in the pool. Don't leave the child unattended. Don't feel the we water too much. We have a lot of we have a lot of fear here. I'm getting a lot of response saying that it is very much a, a U.S. American thing, and it's just a it's unnecessary, and that's partly why there's such a huge obesity ratio here in this country. You know, it's just there's no need to. Don't need well, to give that much. Well, and luckily, like you know, we're we're a family that sort of stops eating when we're not hungry anymore. But there's always that tendency to, if it's there, you you know, it, it, you have to. It's easy to just keep eating, and uh, yeah. it's because right, you don't go. use the metric system. You have gallons yeah. instead of liters. Right. Here, <laughs> I'm going to take. Give me the controls, Daniel, and I'll get Are us. Are you going to do it now? I was waiting then, for you. I was going to wait for you. Wait to for finish. my story. My, yeah, my, so I wasn't being. I wasn't okay. forgetting. But you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you're having a problem with the way I'm handling things, Paul, just say so, man. No, I'm just. I'm having trouble with listening to that that guy with his. Okay. You want to punch you control it for a while, though. I like the the moose sign. Excuse me. I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. You gotta fix the sign. <laughs> Just nah, not gonna. Are we gonna get it? Excuse bonked? me. I see you're working on your sign. 
Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Oh, so we have a puzzle here? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. All right. Mark Mark Dapes says I'm, I'm wrong because they have two liters of Coke. We also have two liters of Coke. But for Nothing example, when I bought sign? orange juice in the US, I bought a gallon. Uh, and over I here, I buy a liter, wrong with which is you a, a quarter of that. Time for cups. Oh, okay. I'm not yeah. a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. I don't, Ooh. actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in the head. What? Whispers? <laughs> Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. Cool. Well, the other guy said something about whispers. I mean, it is interesting that you talk about the size of portions because I'd assume that a restaurant, so for example, over here, when a restaurant opens up, then they um, serve certain dishes in certain sizes. And then, according to the people who come in and eat that specific dish, they see if people have leftovers. And according to that, they adjust the size of the, uh, the dish itself. So, for example, you can go to a restaurant uh, when it opens and have a large dish. And if they notice that people um, leave too much behind, then a year later, you'll have a, an appropriate size of dish. Right, that makes sense. But probably over there, they just enlarge it every year. Let's find the fuse. The repairman has forgotten which fuse he needs to use, even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. Select the fuse that completes the sequence. Oh, okay. Um, Session so he just forgot. Nice. Yeah. He forgot which one of these on the bottom you're supposed to use. Is that what he said? There's, mm -hmm. is there, there's kind of meaning. Forgotten which fuse he needs to use, even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. Select the fuse that completes the sequence. Okay. What is the sequence? Okay. What is the sequence? How do we see a sequence? How do we know? Oh, there's like a hat, a heart. Uh, what? A tree, an X, an apple, a no lemons? I don't know. What are these things? This is like uh, a Rorschach test where you're seeing an apple and I'm seeing something. <laughs> I'm seeing a, somebody, a bat flying between. You're seeing a demon. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay. Let's see. So he he coded them himself. So what is it about him that there's there's lines through there's a line through here and a line through here. They each have a line on the bottom. So that one's got there's a line. line here, a line here. Um. I would think. And what's this? This is the missing one? And, and mm -hmm. yeah. So one of the four fuses at the bottom is the right fuse. Oh, gotcha. So it's got to right. be. And how do we. I mean, is it that first one? It's got a line on the bottom. I, I don't. It's the only similarity I see. The other one's got a line across it. Across it. Oh, down, no. down, middle. Sweet Coach Martip, $3. I remember eating at Johnny Rockets in Philadelphia 11 years ago, and the burger was too big and fat for me to eat lol. <laughs> yeah, and I ate at the diner. I ate at the diner in the US, uh, in New York, and I, I ordered a, a burger with bacon, and then I ate like almost all of it. And then I noticed that they didn't have any bacon, so but I didn't bother mentioning it to the waiter. And then the waiter came and asked if the if it was okay. And I told him um, it, there was no bacon, so he got me a new burger. This wouldn't fly did, anywhere else. Wow! Did you did you eat it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I think you're right, Tori. The only thing that seems similar is this guy hmm, right i mean this doesn't have there's nothing about this 
point, but, but we first need to figure out the code. How did he label the fuses? How does he know the, the order of the fuses? Well, there's a straight line, a squiggly line, a straight line. There's squiggly it's line. It's like an M and then a heart and then another M at the end. Or something like something loves something. Mm -hmm. uh, I love... Oh, what's the name of the diner? Moose, moose ear, diner? moose. Moose ear. Moose ear. Moose ear. We can't move moose, these. Moose ear? Moose ear diner? Yeah, moose ear. Okay, that makes no sense. Um, Why? The moose has an ear? and. Well, I mean, it's just like that. that's a weird name for a diner. Oh, there's um, a lot of weird diner names out there. Okay, Let, let's M? let's think that uh, it's simpler than you might than it might look like. Well, you have the two M's on the outside, M-shaped ones on the outside, and then you have maybe two heart-shaped ones in the middle. Is it, is it that simple? It's even simpler than that. How would you label four fuses? If you were one, to two. place them. Okay. So one, two, three, four. That's how you'd label four fuses. I want Maybe. Maybe. Or I would label them by what the fuse controlled. So let's say you'd label them one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. If you straight up label them one, two, three, four, then it would be too obvious. How about labeling ABC. them? One, two, three, four in a coded way. Okay. Uh, okay, so. Let's say the third, first one. The, let's the, say the, the first third one. The one on the bottom is number three, then. The third one on the bottom is number three. Is no, let's say one? this says one, right? Mm -hmm. And That's this two. says two, right? Mm -hmm. And this says. Four, right? No, oh, I see them. They are twos. They're, they're. Okay, I see them. They're, they're backwards. Too. Oh, there we go. I get it. This one. This one, because it's a three and then a three. See that, so, Tori? They're, they're, they're all. They're oh. two and a backwards two, and then a one and a backward one, and. Then, oh my gosh! I did not see that. That's me neither. Me neither. That's good. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. And seven. Oh, I, see that. I did not see but the. Yeah, I see the ones there. That's just stupid. Now it seems really obvious, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought All right, guys, we are at two o'clock, so we should what? probably well, I gotta finish getting this oh. another ten minutes or so, and then. Well, we'll I, I have um, somebody coming between two and four, so they may show up. I have somebody else coming, but if, yeah, well, let's, uh, if they'll show up, then then we'll close shop, okay? Yeah, but I they'll probably be late, so that's fine. Okay, uh, am I controlling or are you controlling? Uh, go for it. I want you to do. It. I'll Perfect. give you control. Just a second. Control. Go ahead. Hmm. You're in control. Sorry. I know it's not doing anything. Try again. It's frozen. No, it is frozen. Well, I don't suppose you know anything about the erase. Oh, I see it going on. Uh, Oh yeah, I see it Wait, going. You don't see it? No, we see it on the top on the OBS, but we it's don't see it yeah. frozen on our Zoom share. Okay. So I'll play for a while. <laughs> Did you? Know we can't Isaac hear it Dabner? though either. Not much. Really? Yeah. No, we can't. Feel mad. Such a. Pretty girl. Well, this might be a good really time. How far you know along are we in this? This yes, is fun. It's really fun. 
Well, we're so, about the third in. Can I find it? Or the third, okay. Or in. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye and save goodbye. the game. Damn you, Zoom! That's a fun game. It is. Yeah, yeah, it it's, just... it's, a, it's it's great. Um, well, let's take a look here and see when we three will meet again. Is it next? Uh, is Monday still? Oh, I'm out of town all next week. So, oh, and I'm Daniel, you and you and Tori can play. I won't hurt my feelings if you guys decide you want to play. Um, but I'll let you decide. You don't have to be put on the spot now, but think about it. Um, yeah, I have um, people coming to town Monday, and um, I have to check what time they get in and everything. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm out all next week, but then the following week, uh, the I'm 17th. in Oregon the following week. On the seventeenth, I'm flying up on the. Oh, I'm flying on the tenth. When do you? Yeah, what's your seventeenth looks like? Oh, the seventeenth. Yeah. Oh, you mean you're you're out of town on the week of the tenth? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What is now? Okay, so I'm I'm out of town next week. So your the third. Yeah. So on the third, I can't do it. But I was going to say that if you, you and Daniel want to play on the third or whatever, you can, of course. Um, and then the tenth, I'm back. And available. And I'm I'm, I'm leaving on the tenth. Okay, well we'll figure it all out. And then I'm back on the fourteenth. So I'm available the seventeenth, but the third I have to figure out, and then I'll let you know. Okay, all right, sounds good. Thank you guys. All right, well thanks everyone for joining us. We appreciate it, and thanks for your donations and your chats and all the stuff. It was a lot of fun, and. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday to finish up King's, King's Quest, Quest. One. That'll be fun, and uh, and then stick around and then come back on Friday and watch our interview with uh, playing King's Quest. <laughs> we did well. We or do we? Did we? Uh, no, did we, we didn't. I, no, I understand what what she's implying. We didn't play King's Quest Seven, which we started playing with you. Is that the one playing, that we started? Playing? Yeah, hmm. we started playing King's Quest One. Oh, I have to watch some of that and see. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. We had a guest host, uh, Ross Scott, who was a, a very popular YouTuber. Uh, he chose that game, and so he he got he got his pick, and so that was the one. And since we were no, we would not have gone on uh, without you on the game that we started, but this was one that he thought would be fun. And play, we would so. not have been playing King's Quest One, believe me. <laughs> Daniel's not a fan, so you 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 uh, you were spared the. I was spared. Okay. You were spared this, the like wrath of Daniel. This is fun. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thanks, guys. Good to see you all. Tori, have a great, uh, great, great to see you guys week. and yeah. everybody. Great to see you. All right. Take it easy, have guys. Bye, bye bye. Bye. I can't get out. Oh. <laughs> ah. Tori couldn't get out.